Hello and welcome to that British homestead. Today we're going to go on our June uh, gardening tour. Let's get started. So June starts weeding. Look at the weeding. Okay, okay, you're probably thinking, oh my god, she has so many weeds. But I've done a lot of weeding in here. Okay, there's still a lot to do, but it's a lot better. So what has changed from last time? Planted out a ton. Got my rose bush, planted that out this month. I've also um, planted out this beautiful grapevine um, that is eating grapes. It's going to grow along there. Um, I've got all my pumpkins out now. As you can see, pumpkins and squashes, etc. Um, what else have I got? Oh, I've got my onions still going. I've also done like cucumbers in between the onions. So the onions are almost done. And I've got the cukes just going to be growing everywhere from here. Um, I've got another bed of cucumbers here. I'm hoping that the ones that were damaged are going to grow back. We'll see. That would be amazing if they do. Um, I've planted out all my sweet corn. And they look amazing. So, yeah, they're looking great. Um, this is a bed of... Um, potatoes and they're growing up nicely i've just weeded all of that and i am sweaty for it um i've just done a harvest of the rhubarb so that's fantastic as you can see it's just sitting down there uh this is more potatoes i've weeded all of this bed but as you can see there's a little bit left over there that needs to be weeded my peonies jasmine's actually come and harvest um a load of them so you can't actually see any peonies which is a shame. This bed is we needing to be weeded. It's onions and garlic. Um, these are my later garlic. Then the other bed that's all yellow and basically ready to be pulled. Um, you can see where the weeding sort of has finished. I pulled out this pile last night. Now this pile has shrank a lot over like being dried out by the sun. But this was almost as tall as I was. So you can see it was just all like that and I've pulled it all out. These are too hard to pull out, so I'm going to cut them. Um, I've got my little mini orchard here. As you can see, wow, there's like tons of spiders. It's like that bit in Harry Potter. So as you can see, this is working quite nicely. I'm a little bit worried about moving these ones. So what I've done is I've just pulled it out on the roots, as you can see, like this. So there's nothing actually attaching that so it will just die off so yeah it's looking good though but all of this will die because it's not attached got my other work tree here i've weeded this took me ages this took me three hours or something to weed all of this out Sting nettles always rubbish to do got all of that to weed which i'm looking forward to immensely um yeah, I've got my peach tree here. It is starting to come back alive. It's brand new, so I'm not expecting too much from that this year. Um, we can pop back next door. I think I've done quite well. Look, <laughs> it's my other glove. These are amazing. Just got them from. Um, B and Q. I was like a fiver. That's expensive, and I honestly would have paid double for the amount of sea nettles. There's burn pile there. It's huge. Um, I'm going to be burning that. I'm letting it dry out. This all needs to be wa worked and covered. Um, my budleer looks huge. I actually cut it back brutally this year, and I was actually worried about it coming back, and it has. All of this here, pretty much, is mint. I did a harvest of that yesterday. You hear the ice cream man in the background? Who's the ice cream man? Right. So I found this growing there. And that's a gooseberry bush. I'm going to keep that. Don't mind a bit of free plantage. Oh, big difference. This is all planted. This was empty for so long. And I was using it to store my, <laughs> my plastic. Um, oh, no. The plastic needs to go somewhere i just need to find a place to store it right so this is all peppers and tomatoes mostly tomatoes i'd say 
like 90% tomatoes, a few peppers, tiny little peppers in there. So I've got a load of tomatoes left to come out. As you can see, I've just watered them all. Some of them are flowering now, depending on when um, they were planted, that they think they're going to be fed. <laughs> um, okay, so here we have some corn, which I've covered because the birds kept eating it, and some garlic. As you can see, this garlic does have rust on it. It's not going to affect the harvest. It's just um, looking horrible, and the bulbs are going to be a little bit smaller. They're starting to die off because it's time for them to be harvested almost. So it's almost the longest day of the year. They were planted on the shortest day of the year. Look. Okay. Run away. You'd think they haven't been fed. They've eaten so much today. The potatoes looking fantastic. I think this was the first lot I put in and they just look amazing. I love all the different colour flowers that they get on potatoes. So looking great. I do need to weed this part of this allotment quite majorly. Um, I'm going to get a shrimmer and I'm just going to come in and shrim it all I think because it's getting a little bit out of hand. Hardening off some seedlings. These are tomatoes not for here but for one of my friends who lost all their tomatoes. Um... Look at them. You see why they're related to dinosaurs? I think they're hungry. Got some melons to go in here and some more tomatoes that I've hardened off. Um, I'm going to be giving them to my friend today. Oh, it's just, it's looking really fantastic, I think. Here is um, some more pumpkins that I've grown or I think that one I, I bought. Um, and the last two cabbages from over winter. Um, this is onions, but I've also put in some cucumbers. You can see that there's a quite a few of them. Um, so this is going to be a cucumber bed once this is all finished. This is potatoes, um, and they need earthing up a little bit. They're looking quite sorry for themselves. They're quite um, not quite deep enough, so I do need to sort that out. This is garlic bed. Um, and flowers and bits of odds and ends. This is little Jasmine's patch. She's done quite a lot. Um, she's put in some lilies here. She did that the other day. She's put in a pepper plant. She's, oh, she's put in a tomato plant, which oddly has its leaves eaten. And um, she's put in, oh, I think that's about it. She's got some more that's about that needs to be, um, sorted out but the slug population really needs to be cold in this area i actually came over with a torch i actually came over here last night with a torch just to get rid of some of the slugs and snails and you would not believe how many we have in this allotment oh my god i think people say there's like 1500 in any garden <sighs> there were so many so we're thinking get the weeds down and it will help um, but we do have to do something and I think I'm going to set up some slug traps etc. Another thing Jazzy's done is decorated a little area for the Jubilee because it's our we're celebrating our Jubilee tomorrow um, which is Thursday so this will probably come out on Saturday. So I was like right I almost need to leave I'll quickly fill up, feed up, fill up the feeder right bag split it does look like they're going to be clearing it up though Oh dear, we're going to have rats. Right, thanks so much for watching and I hope my progress <laughs> is... Uh, I think I have months that are super, 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 like productive like now and i've got some that were like oh what did i do this month and i get a little bit depressed this month i'm feeling like it's really good and really positive i've still got a lot of weeding to do and i'm going to be focusing on weeding um probably this month as well and hopefully next month i get to focus on harvesting which is the best bit about having an allotment but at the moment got pay my dues so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye